What is up everybody? So is the Baron hype real? Uh, well, uh, the reason I haven't dropped a video on this character yet is because I was right around the corner from unlocking dual wield and I just knew this guy would be a monster with it and I wanted to see it for myself. So uh, he is only level 50. He only has 52 SC. So let's give it a go. So this character right here has no business even being able to clear this level. I absolutely love his ability to feed his kit. As long as you keep doing damage, he will heal back everything. Gotta love that, especially from a half-built character. <laughs> it's just great. Got the F3 right here. Great crowd control. And then typically the S1 can just beat through everybody. These guys are a little bit tougher. No big deal though. They kind of actually hurt this guy uh, because obviously he's only a half build character. Also, I'm glad these characters have S4s that actually, you know, give some sort of buff or something like that. Which this guy does. He does have a chance of buffing himself with his S4, so that's cool. Um, and I do believe uh, Rabola's S4 breaks everybody, so uh, I totally dig it. We're about to get his S4 right now. We'll get it before the boss wave. Yeah, this chainsaw thing is just phenomenal. I know it's it's a sword, but I mean, he uses it like a damn chainsaw, right? The area of effect is great. The crowd control is just wonderful. Let's see, let's actually, let's drop this S4. I don't have enough MP to uh, fully buff this guy right now. That is one of the downsides, especially to a half build character. Uh, so we'll just have to go right into his F4. So he can power himself up a little bit. Thin this hurt out a little bit. There's quite a few of them. I absolutely love how he moves everybody around. It's just great, wonderful synergy in his kit. He's healing so much that he can actually just stand in front of these giant uh, ogres. Yeah, and actually fight him. Oh, there's that S3. I love it how uh, he, he can't be, well, it's almost like he, he, he can't be interrupted when he's using his ability kit. That makes a huge difference with a character like this because he has to commit to his actual attack. Really glad that they gave him something like that. He's just phenomenal for standing there and throwing out damage no matter what. Um, yeah, uh, great character. The hype is real. There's there's definitely a lot of good stuff with this character. He's just phenomenal. Even even half built, he's just such a freaking powerhouse. All you have to do is give him dual wield. And we'll just look at mine real quick. Really, he's got he's even got half built equipment on him. <laughs> like, uh, this helm is only at a plus 30. Uh, he's got a Hercules Edge and his sword. So his armor did not last long. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty much what I have on him. Um, and he's great with just this. Alright, obviously dual wield is going to cost, you know, 14 SC. Every SC is worth it for this guy as far as dual wield is concerned. Just IMO though, I think it's great. Just the damage he's cranking out is phenomenal. Um, and I can't wait to uh, you know, put Combo Master back on him and just tweak a bunch of stuff out. I have Tempest Dragon Blessing to mess around with. So a lot of fun stuff.
and gotta give them props on the art. Like, really, this guy just looks phenomenal. Uh, his sprite looks great. It's dark. It's wicked. Uh, yeah. This guy's officially a badass. <laughs> like, uh, that's the conclusion I come to. This guy's just a monster. So we're going to be seeing some very interesting builds with this character. He's probably going to be running around, even in arena, just absolutely destroying everything with his... His amazing skill kit, just the crowd control on it's so great. You're just hitting everybody, moving them around. Nothing can really interrupt him, so uh, we'll we'll have to see. But I imagine pretty soon we're going to be seeing a lot of this character in Arena. I don't know, just IMO. Let me let me know what you guys think. Uh, but this guy is definitely definitely a powerful hero. Uh, very happy I pulled him, uh, and him and Rabula actually run together very well. Uh, I still have to test out um, her special break that lets everybody heal. Um, but this guy, with how much he's healing already, um, I can just imagine another, you know, five, six percent to that uh, would just be great. So I'm gonna have to see what I can do with that. And Rabula is no joke either. Uh, her custom breaks are just phenomenal. Uh, but it's it's just nice to see this character uh, just be able to go to a level that he has no business being able to clear even though he's just half built right like these are all level 80 levels uh, he's got no business walking in here by himself half built and just mopping the floor with it so yeah this guy is definitely up there on the power ladder uh, very solid character to build to invest into so I just kinda wanted to throw that out there I'm sure you guys have all seen plenty of review vids on this character already at this point going through all his abilities he is just a freaking monster get him dual wield you'll be very happy uh, let me know what other builds you guys are doing for this character leave a comment uh, if there's anything I missed let me know later everybody